The theme for our reflection today is the joy of a laborer. The theme of joy runs through the liturgy of the world today. In the first reading from the prophecy of Isaiah, the prophet invites all to rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. The psalmist also invites us to cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. And in the gospel of today, the disciple of Jesus returned from the apostolate, from the evangelization, recounting their experience with joy. My brothers and sisters, there are certain important words we need to note from the liturgy of the world today, especially from the gospel. The gospel was in Luke chapter 10, from verse 1 to 12 and 17 to 20. The Lord Jesus said, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. What is this harvest? My dearest friends, the harvest, among other things, can be narrowed down to two things. People who are yet to embrace the values of the kingdom of God. And secondly, political systems, cultural systems, or policies that stands, that stand contrary to the values of the kingdom. These are the harvests that are plentiful, that need laborers in the vineyard. While the harvest is plentiful, the Lord says, the laborers are few. Are the laborers really few? We have over a billion Christians all over the world. But it is really true that laborers are few. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel remains a challenge for you and myself. How are we playing our roles as disciples of Christ? Are we laborers working? to entrench the values of the kingdom beginning from our own lives and also extending it to the society where we live. We are called to be laborers in the vineyard of God. My dear brothers and sisters, the joy of the disciples who returned to Jesus recounting their experiences, that same joy is what fueled the pro-life activists who last week busted into joy when the Supreme Court of the United States overturned the judgment of Roe versus Wade. For 49 years, injustice was entrenched. Murder, abortion was recognized as legal. But these Christians who call themselves pro life members, activists, they prayed, they protested, they did all they could for the Supreme Court to overturn that judgment. And to the surprise of the whole world, it came to pass, and they were filled with joy. That is the joy that Christ wants you and I to experience. The joy that comes from a fruitful ministry, from a fruitful evangelization. If 12 disciples can change the world, then there are more than enough laborers in the vineyard. If you are ready to do your part, if I am ready to do my part, 
the task of evangelization begins from each and every one of us. I need to be delivered from my own slavery before I can bring that deliverance to others. And so my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today, Jesus wants us to be happy, but he wants us to play our role to entrain the values of the kingdom. Finally, in the second reading of today, St. Paul tells us that this joy cannot come without the cross. We cannot celebrate Easter without Good Friday. The cross leads to crown. Toy brings joy. The victim became victorious. This is our call. As we celebrate this holy day, let us ask the Lord to grant us the grace we need to continue to walk as laborers in this kingdom so that the values of the kingdom may begin to be felt, to be experienced, to be incarnated in the lives of everyone.